Welcome to paradise. Your Ko Samui adventure starts now. Yo, what is up everybody? It's Mizan. And let me tell you, I am so stoked for this one. We're about to break down everything you need to know to experience Ko Samui like a pro, even if you've never stepped foot outside your hometown. Whether you're daydreaming about this trip or already booked your ticket, get ready because we're diving deep. This is your ultimate guide to Koh Samui, packed with the insider tips and local secrets to make your trip unforgettable. We're talking those hidden gems you won't find in any ordinary travel brochure. So buckle up, smash that like button, and let's get this show on the road. All right, before we get into the good stuff, we got to talk about the mistakes people make. You know, the kind of things that can turn your dream vacation into a total nightmare. First up, overpacking. Seriously, less is more. You're going to be living in your swimsuit and flip-flops anyway. Ditch the bulky luggage, pack light and thank me later. Next up, local customs. Look, when in Rome, right? Same goes for Koh Samui. Show some respect, dress appropriately when visiting temples, and remember, a little courtesy goes a long way. Now, let's talk transportation. Don't just assume you can hop in a cab whenever you feel like it. Plan ahead. Figure out whether you're renting a scooter, figuring out the Songthu routes, or whatever works for you. Trust me, the last thing you want is to be stranded in the middle of nowhere. And speaking of unexpected situations, travel insurance. Don't even think about skipping this one. It's a lifesaver if things go south, and trust me, you'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Last but not least, check the weather. Seriously, it's Koh Samui, not the North Pole. We're talking tropical vibes here, and that means rain. But don't let that scare you, just come prepared. Rainy season has its own charm, plus you'll get some epic deals. All right, let's talk about how to maximize 48 hours in Koh Samui. Day one, we're hitting the ground running. First up, Chaweng Beach. This is your classic Koh Samui experience. White sand, turquoise water, the works. Grab a coconut, soak up the sun, and just chill. Next, we're heading to Wat Plai Lime, one of the most stunning temples in Koh Samui. I'm talking intricate details, vibrant colors, and a giant 18-armed statue of Guan Yin, the goddess of mercy. Trust me, you've got to see this. For sunset, we're making our way to Fisherman's Village. This place is a vibe, with its traditional wooden houses, charming shops, and delicious street food. Grab some dinner, watch the sunset, and soak it all in. Day two, we're kicking things up a notch. We're talking about a boat trip to Ang Thong National Marine Park. This place is like something out of a movie, with its towering limestone cliffs, hidden lagoons, and crystal clear water. Go snorkeling, kayaking, or just relax on the beach. After that epic adventure, we're heading back to land and checking out the Big Buddha Temple. It's exactly what it sounds like, a giant golden Buddha statue that can be seen from miles away. It's pretty awe-inspiring, even if you're not religious. Finally, for our last stop, we're heading up to Lamai Viewpoint. This is the perfect spot to catch a panoramic view of the island, and trust me, the pictures don't do it justice. All right, let's talk about getting around Koh Samui. Now, you've got options, but first up, let's talk song themes. These are those red pickup trucks with benches in the back, and they're basically the island's shared taxis. They're cheap, they're everywhere, and they'll get you where you need to go. Next, we've got motorbikes. Now, I know what you're thinking. Casey, are you serious? But listen, renting a scooter is a rite of passage in Koh Samui. It's the best way to explore the island at your own pace. Just be careful, wear a helmet, and don't do anything stupid. Of course, you can always grab a taxi, but be warned, they can be pricey, especially if you're not careful. Make sure you negotiate the fare beforehand or use a ride hailing app. And hey, if you're feeling adventurous, you can always rent a bicycle. It's a great way to get some exercise and explore the local areas. All right. Let's talk about the weather in Koh Samui. Now we're talking tropical paradise here, so you know what that means? Heat, humidity, and yeah, some rain. But don't let that scare you away, just come prepared. The best time to visit Koh Samui is during the dry season, which runs from December to April. Think clear skies, sunshine, and perfect beach weather. May to September is considered the shoulder season, and it's a bit of a mixed bag. You might get some rain, but you'll also find fewer crowds and some great deals. 
October to November is the rainy season, but don't let that deter you. You'll experience some downpours but also lush landscapes and a different side of the island. Plus, prices are at their lowest. All right, let's talk accommodation. First up, Chaweng Beach. This is the heart of the action, with its bustling nightlife, endless dining options, and of course, that stunning beach. If you're all about that energy, this is the spot for you. Next, we got Lamai Beach. It's a bit more laid back than Chaweng, but still with plenty of restaurants, bars, and shops. Plus, it's got a more local vibe, which I personally love. If you're looking for something a little more off the beaten path, check out Bogfoot Beach. This place is known for its charming fisherman's village, with its traditional houses, quaint boutiques, and delicious seafood restaurants. And for those of you who truly want to escape the crowds, Mainham Beach is the place to be. Think secluded beaches, crystal clear water, and a tranquil atmosphere. All right, let's talk ferries. Whether you're coming from Surat Thani, Koh Phangan, or Koh Tao, chances are you'll be arriving at one of Koh Samui's ferry piers. The main one is Nathan Pier, located on the west coast. It's the busiest pier, handling most of the ferry traffic to and from the mainland. Lipanoi Pier, on the west coast, is smaller and mainly serves speedboats and catamarans. It's a good option if you're coming from Surat Thani Airport or looking for a quicker transfer. Bangrang Pier, on the northeast coast, is mainly used for ferries to and from Koh Phangan and Koh Tao. Chapter 7. All right, let's address the elephant in the room. Koh Samui versus Phuket. Now, I love both of these islands, but Koh Samui holds a special place in my heart. First off, it's smaller and less crowded than Phuket, which means you can actually relax and enjoy the natural beauty without feeling overwhelmed. Don't get me wrong, Phuket has its charm, but sometimes you just need to escape the masses, you know? Speaking of natural beauty, Koh Samui is absolutely stunning. Think lush jungles, pristine beaches and crystal clear waters. And the best part, it's still relatively undeveloped so you can experience the island's authentic charm. All right, let's talk about saving money because traveling on a budget shouldn't mean sacrificing all the fun, right? First up, eat local, ditch the fancy restaurants and hit up the street food stalls and local markets. Trust me, you'll get a more authentic experience and save a ton of money in the process. Next, haggle, haggle, haggle. Don't be afraid to negotiate prices, especially at markets and with taxi drivers. It's part of the culture and you'd be surprised how much you can save. Consider staying in budget accommodations. Koh Samui has plenty of affordable guest houses, hostels, and homestays that won't break the bank. Utilize public transport, skip the taxis, and hop on a songtao. It's the cheapest way to get around, and it's a fun way to experience local life. Travel during the off-season. You'll score amazing deals on flights and accommodation, and you'll avoid the crowds. Steer clear of tourist traps. Do your research and discover the hidden gems that are off the beaten path. You'll have a more authentic experience and save some cash. Book in advance, especially if you're traveling during peak season. Flights and accommodations tend to be cheaper when you book ahead of time. Bring your own gear, especially if you plan on doing any water sports. Renting snorkeling gear, kayaks, and paddle boards can add up quickly. Finally, explore the free attractions. Koh Samui has plenty of natural wonders, temples, and viewpoints that won't cost you a dime. All right, let's talk about the legendary full moon party on Koh Phangan. If you're in Koh Samui during the full moon, you've got to make the trip. It's an experience. Getting there is easy. Ferries run regularly from Koh Samui to Koh Phangan, and the journey takes about 30 minutes to an hour. The full moon party takes place on Hard Rin Beach on the southern tip of Koh Phangan. It's a wild night of music, dancing, fire shows, and buckets. Yes, buckets. Just a few tips. Pace yourself, stay hydrated, watch your belongings, and don't be afraid to let loose and have some fun. Oh, and don't forget to book your accommodation in advance, as places fill up quickly. All right, let's talk about Songkran, the Thai New Year's festival, which takes place in April. And let me tell you, it's a wild one. Imagine this, the entire country turns into a giant water fight. People take to the streets armed with water guns, buckets and hoses, drenching anyone and everyone in sight. The best places to experience Songkran in Koh Samui are Chawen Beach and Lamai Beach. These areas turn into epic water battlefields with music, dancing and endless water fights. 
Just a few tips. Protect your electronics, wear clothes you don't mind getting wet, and embrace the chaos. So there you have it, your ultimate guide to Koh Samui. I'm talking insider tips, local secrets, and everything you need to know to make your trip unforgettable. Now what are you waiting for? Book that ticket, pack your bags, and get ready for an adventure. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and subscribe to the channel for more travel vlogs, tips, and inspiration. And hey, if you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. Until next time, safe travels, and I'll see you on the road.